Hello, my name is Yasmin um, and I develop STEM resources at the Royal Academy of Engineering. And I'm Lewis and I work as a teacher coordinator. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the latest resource box from the Royal Academy of Engineering, which is called Code and Rescue. So this resource box comes with two main guides. You have your student guide and your teacher guide. There are three case studies based on real engineers working um, within the emergency services. And there's also this uh, teacher demonstration of a crumble board. And this is really what the whole resource is built around, isn't it? Yeah, so the crumble is a programmable micro board which has many outputs such as sparkles, so that's LED lights, motor, a sensor, buzzer, um, and we'll be using these different components for various activities throughout the resource. I think it's really nice that students have the ability to code something and then actually see how lights flash, how buzzers sound and how motors actually turn on in order to overcome some of the real problems that engineers face when it comes to looking at search and rescue. Absolutely. So in the resource box, you'll receive your teacher guide. And inside, it gives a little bit of background about the resource, talks about the context of it. Um, so looking at the technology involved in search and rescue and emergency services. We link to a bit more information about the Crumble and specifically to the Redfern website who make Crumble. We'd really recommend as well that you download the Getting Started Guide, especially if you've not use the crumble before or are unfamiliar with computer programming or coding. And I think what's really useful there is if you want to order more sets of equipment or you want replacement parts, you can go to the Redfern website and find everything that you need. As always, the activities within the resource are curriculum linked. It is heavily weighted toward computer science in this case. However, there is still opportunity for students to apply their maths, design technology and science in there as well. And it's really aimed at students in Key Stage 2 and Key Stage 3. Again, we uh, talk about the engineering habits of mind here. I'm not going to go into them in a huge amount of detail because we discuss them in other resources, but just wanted to draw your attention to the fact that we have translated them, as it were, this time, to uh, for language that is more suited toward design technology and computing. And again, like some of our previous resources, uh, if students do this as part of a longer term project, they can apply through the British Science Association to receive a Crest Discovery Award. The thing that I found most useful in the teacher guide personally were the solutions. For me, coding is something that I'm not that used to. And although um, I learned quite quickly, it's just nice to see how you can actually write the code so the crumble does what you want it to do. So in the teacher guide, there are solutions to all of the unplugged and the plugged in tasks as well. So that leads us nicely to the student guide um, and the student guide where we'll explain a little bit more about what we mean by plugged and unplugged. The first page talk has contents in it which shows all the different activities but more importantly tells you whether an activity is plugged or unplugged. If it's plugged it means that you'll need to um, have the crumble boards and if it's unplugged they might just need pen and paper, potentially a computer or some sort of internet access as well but no crumble for the unplugged activities. There's also a big picture of what's in the box. And I think that's really important to actually show that it isn't just the resource guides, which you can download from the STEM resources website, but it's actually all of this equipment here. And uh, what I was particularly impressed with was not only the, the quantity, but also the quality of the, the electronic components, you know, the amount of wires that we have here. And it's really nice that there are five complete sets of equipment. So you could have five separate groups working in class or working in the STEM group, all doing the same activities at the same time. So in the box are five crumble boards, which is what you're going to be programming. There are the crocodile leads that you need to connect everything together. We've got battery boxes. I think the only thing you need to supply are the AA batteries themselves. But there are USB leads that link to the computers. There are switches. Sparkles are these small LED light units. There's pretty much everything that you need, including bits of string and paper clips for all of the activities that this resource guide talks about. And I think what's really nice is that when you get everything connected together, um, you can pro program it to do light sequences. You can have any kind of flashing combination of colors that you wanted. Um, and I just think that this is something that students are gonna be using for many years to come. It's not just a one-off activity. This is stuff that can stay at your school and you can use it year after year. Absolutely. And if you go onto the Redfern website as well, actually, there are other suggested projects and things that your students can get involved with. We've made another number of other videos that go into the other activities in more detail. So do check those out. And as always, all of our resources are available to download online for free from our resource hub.